Sophie, his 13th birthday. Gift, we've got you. Guitar, coming tomorrow. Road game today, surprise party tomorrow. Uh, change of plans. Game tomorrow. No, birthday tomorrow. Oh no, oh no! Guitar, reroute. Birthdays are on birthdays. Party, relocate. UPS My Choice makes rerouting packages easy. Wow. How we're helping companies solve for the needs of customers like Sophie. Hey, you know, Buffalo was the better team. Uh, they were better in every category today. They shot the ball extremely well. They scored in transition. They scored points in the paint. They scored offensive rebounds. They scored um, driving to the basket. And we, you know, only scored when we had to take tough shots. We didn't score in transition. We didn't pass the ball to the post. Um, we didn't uh, have. We had, we had no player movement and no ball movement, and we just stood and we dribbled east-west. So we made it very easy for them to guard us. Um, if we don't do a better job in those areas, it will be uh, very easy for other teams to guard us. Um, just disappointed. Um, they were the more aggressive team. They were the more aggressive team uh, from the very beginning. We know they're a very good team. Um, I thought we were prepared, but we just made way too many mistakes against a very good team that was picked number one. Uh, playing at home, we should have played uh, much better. But they beat us in every facet of the game. There's not one part of the game that we were better at, and so therefore that's why you lose by 20 some points. Uh, first quarter is, I guess, kind of the game because most of the way after that, you played uneven. Well, you got to play 40 minutes, so, you know, I mean, I don't know how you can't be excited to play. It's your first home game, uh, conference game. You're playing against the number one team in the conference. Um, we've been playing pretty good basketball, um, I thought, and we just weren't ready. Uh, we talked about the emphasis of, you know, boxing out, go find your man and box out, and first possession they had, we give up an offensive rebounds because we don't go find the man. They kick out for a three. So, like, we have to do the little things. We have to fight and, and, and claw for everything. Nothing is easy for us. We should... We should do different things a little bit better, which would make it easy for us, but we don't do those. So um, good thing is, you know, we'll watch film tomorrow. Um, we'll get back to the drawing board uh, Monday and Tuesday and get ready for a very good Toledo team on the road. You know, it doesn't get any easier. You got Toledo on the road. You got Ohio on the road. All these teams in the MAC are fantastic. Uh, this is probably the deepest we've been all, year, all 12 years that I've been from 1 to 12. Um, I looked at today's games. Every game was close other than ours. Um, and it'll be a good game tomorrow versus Ohio and Toledo. So. Um, uh, we just got to get better. This is, this is unacceptable. Um, you know, Shawnee is one for 12. Um, too many turnovers. She has a tendency of dribbling too much. And I continue to tell her, like, she's a fantastic player. But we're just so much better when we get the ball off the court and pass and not dribble so much. And, uh, you know, again, she's young. She's a sophomore. Uh, we're still a very young team. We're still learning every day about each other. And be curious to see how this team, uh, you know, bounces back. Uh, uh, we also gave up 25 points, you know, off of turnovers. And that Buffalo scored on us. So, again, I could look at all the stat lines and – uh, they, they beat us in every facet of the game, and uh, they deserve to win by, you know, kicking our butts. Megan had a good third quarter, but they were playing herself <coughs> otherwise. Well, Megan had a good third quarter when you talk about shooting. You know, everything about Megan is always about shooting, and, and Megan needs to understand, like, it's more than shooting. You know, she's got to be able to defend. She's got to be able to rebound. She's got to be able to box out. You know, you got to be more than just one-dimensional. you got to be able to dribble the ball. you got to be able to get open. And, she, you know, Megan and everybody else can't rely just on one part of your game. You know, it's basketball. you got to be able to pass. you got to be able to dribble. you got to be able to shoot. you got to be able to rebound. It's just not one area. And that's not just for Megan, but that's for everybody. So not very happy, you know, with what we did today. So, you know, I don't know. I'm, I might make a lineup change for the next game. Um, I think some people are getting very uh, complacent. And so, uh, you know, we I think we have depth. I don't think we have an, a one superstar, but I think that we have depth. So maybe we need to, you know, shake up things a little bit and practice on Monday and Tuesday. Any particular people you're talking about? We'll find out on Monday and Tuesday during practice and who does what they're supposed to do is going to work hard. You work hard, you're going to play for me. You know, you work hard and you listen and you're coachable, you're going to play for me. And if you're a team player, you're going to play for me. And so, you know, if people aren't working hard and not doing what you need to do for us to win, you know, and people on the bench, they're ready to go, let's give them an opportunity. So everything for me is about practice. You practice hard, you play hard, you know, we'll get you in the game. But it's one game, and we know that's 18 games. One game is not going to make you or break you. But I'm excited to see how we bounce back. That, that's what I'm excited about is that's when you know about your team more than anything else, when you got your butt kicked okay, at home, how are you going to respond? You know, if someone kicks you down, are you going to get back up, or are you just going to stay down? So I, I think my team's a fighter. I think my team's a fighting team. I, I think they'll bounce back, and uh, you know, we'll, we'll find out on Monday, Tuesday, and then versus uh, Toledo on uh, Wednesday. Yeah, you tried. Trapping and pressing their point guard so much, she was she's just 
Tough. No, we just did a poor job. We don't do that very often, so it's tough for our kids to do that. I mean, we had a trap, and we just didn't do a good job of finishing that. We had her, we had her there. You just got to work a little bit harder, and uh, they didn't. You know, everybody went back. All you had to do was get one good trap, and uh, you know, it hurt us because they went down. And at least they shot a quick three, which what you hope that they do if you don't get a trap is shoot that quick three. And unfortunately, you know, the kid made the three. So um, they played a beaten. Quite a few good teams already this year. It's just kind of a. Kind they're a good team. I mean, they're a good team. I mean, everybody in our conference is good. You know, Ball State is number two in the mid majors right now. Central Michigan is playing well. Um, everybody's playing well. This is a great conference, and uh, everybody outside our conference understands how tough this conference is. And we have great coaches, and we have great players that can play at other levels. And you got to come ready to play every day. So um, it'll be interesting. I think we probably play Buffalo towards the end of the year again. I'm guessing we always seem like whoever we play first of the year, we play last. So that will be a good test for us because um, right now I don't think Buffalo really respects our program at all and to be honest based on what we did today I'm not quite sure you know they should but at the end of the year I think we'll be a different team I think we'll be a better team and, and I think uh, we'll play a, a hopefully a lot better at their place.